This is one of the software engineers working with Elon Musk on Doge to reduce our country's excessive spending problem. Unfathom unfathomably based. Luke's so I've always been interested in history. Growing up, I learned Latin. I was never that good at it, but I was always kind of into that sort of stuff. Read a lot about the Roman Empire. And SpaceX things. shirt. And one day I was just listening to a podcast back in March. It was with Nat Friedman. He just kind of got on the podcast, explained like, there are these burnt up scrolls that were buried in the Pompeii eruption. No one knows how to read them, but some professors have created CT scans of these scrolls and they uploaded the data on the internet as a competition to see who could find writing inside of these scrolls. And when I heard that, I was just immediately like, oh my goodness, this is such a cool project. I have to work on this. I just went home from work that day at the end of the day and I've been working on it evenings and weekends ever since. I run most of the things from my laptop. It's just a normal MacBook, don't worry. But then I've just got like five surplus computers in here. Um, this is what I do most of my work from. That's all you need is a computer. School. You have access to the whole yeah, world with that thing. Nebraska as a whole has provided a great huh. educational background where I can then, you know, take these skills that I've learned and apply them to problems like this. I just spend hours upon hours staring at flattened pieces of the scroll like this, trying to find these patterns which are um, part of the writing. At the start of the challenge, we had not been able to find any writing at all within these scrolls. There are hundreds of these scrolls that are from the mansion. We've scanned a couple of them, and no one had been able to find any writing in them using these methods. Late one Saturday night, I was sitting at a party at a friend's house in Omaha, and I get a text from another person on the challenge team, and he says, hey, I've just uploaded this new kind of piece of the of the scroll. You should take a look at Those it. Kids... So I remotely access my computer. I type. Hold on a second. This kid is figuring out this scroll shit. Okay, let's, like, okay, he's telling the story. He, he's a genius. He figured out the fucking scroll. We'll watch the rest. But this guy is some crazy, like, pattern nerd guy. And we're having this kid be on the team that is trying to find bad spending patterns in our government. That makes so much sense to me. This is, like, this is why all these tech bros are accelerating so fast. They solve their problems through people like this. They look at these type instead of all these dumb, old, outdated ways of trying to solve problems, we can solve them with small, smart, genius fucking teams of people, and we could sit down and figure out stuff. So we're going to have this kid going. He's part of the team. So what, I bet all the other people on the team are absolute killers. They're absolute killers, dude. I bet they're so smart. And these are the, t th this is who we want to look at where we're wasting all of our money. Like give this guy, this, this guy is, it's basically like giving some like autistic genius kid a, a, a puzzle, bro. Like this is some Rain Man shit. And you're like, please run the algorithm on this new piece of scroll. And then I just kind of started, I pull out my phone again, just nonchalantly like, hey, I wonder how that went. And there are three Greek letters on the screen, letters I'd never seen before. It was um, really cool because it's like, oh my goodness, like we actually detected new writing in the scrolls using AI. That was the moment I realized like this is actually going to work. Like we were probably going to read the scrolls and I completely freaked out. I'm my accepting friends user friends. Cheering, jumping up and down. What's your name in there? Is you it know, the same? Crying, all, all the stuff. I, you know, took oh. a picture of the results. Am I tagging you? Is this mom, you? mom, she called me and she's like, hey, these look great, you know? Um, it was a really special moment. Yeah, so this is the, the word that I actually found. It's right here. It's the word pro for us. Uh, which translates to purple. Uh, it's the first word we found in the scrolls. It was reviewed by a committee of kind of Greek scholars, but it's the word purple. And I'm glad it's not the word in or the. Oh, you followed me on Twitter. We, we actually found. I saw uh, you follow me. Okay, that was you. This would not be possible without modern AI and modern scanning te techniques. People have wanted to read these books for hundreds of years, um, and this seems like the only way that's where it's really possible. Yeah, use AI. AI. So you. This is what I've been saying about AI for a long time. You can take somebody that is not that smart, like me, right? Give me AI and then tell me to go write a book. I'm going to go write a book in the most dumbest way possible, but AI is going to hold my damn hand and help me out. There we go. I'll have a book written. But give someone that is a very excellent writer, okay? I'm going to use Stephen King because he actually is a great writer, even though his politics are fucking insane. I don't agree with him, but he's a fantastic writer, right? Give him... AI and let him mess with it and like but he has to embrace it too he can't be like I'm Stephen King but I hate AI this is bad for art right it, he needs to embrace it as like 
okay, this is AI. I'm going to use it as a tool. And I'm going to use, I'm, so imagine just a great horror writer like, like Stephen King embracing AI and using it as an asset on top of his already masterful existing writing skills, right? That's what this kid is doing. He has really good puzzle solving skills and he's using AI to help him solve the puzzle faster. To do that. Now we're reading entire paragraphs from the scrolls and hopefully we'll be able to read the entire book and read the hundreds of other books that were buried in this condition as well. That's crazy. When we found this first word, you know, we went public with it and I think everyone has been very pleasantly surprised by the amount of attention it's gotten. As a college student, it's definitely been overwhelming in the best way possible, but it's been really cool to get to kind of, you know, talk about my findings and, you know, share what I want to do in the future with so many people. Uh, so it's been overwhelming in the best possible way. The University of Nebraska does a really good job of encouraging their students to think boldly, and I think that's played a, a pivotal role. I like in this my, kid. Uh, work on this project. I, I like this kid. He's smart. I like smart people. Smart people that solve problems. I like those people. This kid, if everyone's saying that he's so young and it's a problem or whatever, now, like, I already kind of believed they must have, if they have a, a team of some young kids, like, that, you know, that are students in college or whatever. It's, it's probably because they're the fucking best, man. See, here's, here's a really good example. Okay. This is where people are getting this wrong. So with a, like the government, right? The government has had the hardest time getting like good technology people to come work for the government for like, you know, the NSA and all the whatever, like agencies where they have smart people doing computer shit. Right. Why? Because all the smartest people in the world have like big fucking two foot green mohawks and piercings and weird shit. And they're just like, that's the best in the world. And they don't show up to work wearing a fucking suit and tie. What Elon Musk is doing is just throwing that out the window and he's looking at this problem and he can hire anyone in the world that he wants. So he's looking at it as like, how do I get the smartest people in the world? I don't care if like, you know, if there's someone like that. So that's where a lot of the tech companies are hiring the, the most capable software people in the world because the best people in the world look weird sometimes, right? They dress funny. They, they, have, uh, they, they don't accept social norms with the way they're supposed to look and do things. And they're unhirable in like a professional environment. But they just so happen to be the best in the world. So some company that will say, fuck those rules. You can come work for me. I'll give you a fuck ton of money. Help me make insane stuff. That's, that is literally the same thing that's happening here. Elon Musk is finding smart, capable people to solve the problem that aren't who your, your traditional problem-solving people are going to be, who are usually going to suck ass.